Hi Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am going to be doing your September general reading. I generally do love readings but we're going to see what comes up for the month of September for you. I have pre-shuffled. This is for Libra. I tr I've tried to do your readings a couple times already last night but it did not work out so I said you know what? Looks like it's going to be tomorrow. So, here I am. But I do, I mean, we'll see if, if I need to incorporate them into this at all. There's definitely some um, confusion going on. Because I, you had me all so confused. I was like, what the hell is this? Both times. And that's why I stopped. Because it was a friggin' mess. Hopefully this doesn't happen. And it was my, it, you know, I had done several, so I thought maybe it was just me and I was tired. And I'd had enough, you know, because you can only do your, give your energy away for so long. All right, this is the seeds being planted. This was in yesterday's too. Okay, this is something not turning out the way that you had hoped. This is working you know, this is that you have worked on something and you have become very skilled. Maybe it's a lesson that you've learned. Maybe it's at work. This, I mean, we'll get a bunch more cards. This is about um, action, all right? This is about uh, moving on. And this is uh, moving, movement. It doesn't have to be moving on. This is about actually doing something, okay? Um, natural born leader. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. This is about the truth of the situation, clarity of mind. I'm going to try to keep this less than 20 minutes. Remember to zoom this in, by golly. Thank you, God. A couple of them I didn't remember. All right, so you're definitely pretending about something. There's a stalemate because you're ignoring a situation. All right, you are ignoring something probably because, you know, it's... I'm not sure why. You're ignoring, you're ignoring the truth about something okay so this right here is about choices and what you do but it also when the, when you look at this card um, it's about choosing possessions or love okay and so it's an illusion he's saying hold on wait a minute I don't know if you can see it he's saying hold on wait be careful what you choose be careful what you choose because what you own owns you all right, so that's what he's saying. Here we have the karma card, which is also the judgment card, which is an awakening. So it looks like this is the month of September. So apparently you're going to wake up about something. You're going to have a wake-up call. We have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio right there. All right, and something isn't as you'd hoped. Something isn't turning out the way that you'd hoped, or it hasn't turned out the way that you'd hoped. Um, and perhaps now you're just deciding that you you can't be stuck to it anymore. I'm just saying perhaps, okay, perhaps that you have or you had some kind of obsession with something, and perhaps it's no longer something that you can ignore anymore. I see there's a new 
love on the horizon, something new. There's a new welling of emotion. This could be with somebody that you're already with and you just relate your relationship just steps up to another level. I see that there is a new love that is very exciting and it could be, like I said, with somebody you're already with. Your awakening could be that you're spending too much time at work and that's maybe why this why this card came up. Okay, because maybe you're spending too much time focused on your school or your work and you're not giving enough time to love and that could be your awakening that you decide, you know what, I'm going to put more effort into love. Okay, I'm going to put more effort into it. I'm going to put more passion into it, you know, because you can't let your job or your work um, take up your whole life. All right. But here, I mean, there's a bunch of different stories. So some of this will resonate with you and some of it will not. And some of it will resonate with this person and then not you. You know what I'm saying? This is the truth about a situation that has been ignored. Okay. And it has to do with your hopes and wishes. We do have something, you know, we have the Page of Wands here. There's something exciting and new. This one is new as well. These are new, new, okay? This is new love, new excitement, new discovery. This is for Libra. And, you know, it's after a period of healing. All right? So I see that you have really been, done a lot of healing. Um... You know, maybe you have decided that you want to start something new. Maybe you want to start your own business, okay? Because I see you being a leader and starting something new, something that you're passionate about that you can make money at, make money, you know? And that it's going to take a lot of time, it is. And maybe you're thinking about it right now and you're planning it. Maybe you even started it and you're buried in it. You know, and that right now has become your main love. That could be it. Your career could be your main love right now. And you're very excited for your future and your career, you know. So maybe that's where the hopes and wishes are being fulfilled is in your career base. Maybe, you know, that's what I see. Um, I see that there is some addictions, though. There's some obsessions or, or addictions that are you might be pretending that you don't have all right so this is a might okay so there because this is this is the devil card all right so it it looks like there's something that you are trying to hide definitely that you are trying to hide that you're going to that you really can't hide all right because you're going to it comes out the, the, there is there really is Nothing that you can hide. I mean, see? I'm having a really hard time again. I think it's because you guys are so sensitive and, and whatever I say, I feel like I can't say to you. <laughs> that is what it is. Oh my God, because the same, same thing happened yesterday. It was like, oh my God, I can't say that to them. They're gonna take it the wrong way. That's, and I tried, did it twice and I got about this far. And if I, you know, you guys are so sensitive that if I say the wrong thing, it's like, rawr. So it's like, oh my God. I see that you have planted some seeds, all right? A long time ago, you've planted some seeds and they're starting to come to fruition. I think this is not a love reading. This is a more of a financial reading. I think you planted some seeds in your career or... Um, you've you've envisioned a future business and you are, have decided that you want to go with it or you're really seriously thinking about going with this idea to start your own business. Okay, but maybe you're still moping on love. Okay, maybe you're still moping on love so it's a little bit of hindrance so now you're going to bury yourself in this new um, entrepreneurship. Okay? Or you're... That's what I see. I see that... You know, a lot of you are thinking about starting your own business. Um, I think that you have been working on yourself a lot. 
and that you're starting to come to a more peaceful state of mind. Um, there could be some addictions and obsessions of some sort. Maybe you feel like you're being sabotaged in your work where you're at right now, like somebody is sabotaging you. Anyway, you're about to have some kind of wake-up call because this is the judgment card. And, and this is also um, so close to the end, so close to where you want to be because the next card is the world. Um, but this says be careful. Be careful what you choose because what you own owns you. And this is a stalemate, pretending that something is okay. Just pretending. Or pretending there's no addiction. Or pretending there's no obsession. Pretending things are okay. Okay, but this is the raw truth that comes out. All right, because I think you have some very, you have a passion for something that could lead to a very a, exciting, you know, new start business wise. I am going to do a love reading for um, the first half of September and the second half of September. I'm a little behind because I have a lot going on right now in my life. But anyway, it looks pretty good here. It does. Now we're moving on. And this is a partnership too. There's a partnership. So you might be thinking about beginning being partners with somebody and starting a business. All right. There is letting, leaving something behind. And severing a severing a cord, all right, right down to the last thread, and it's time to cut it, okay? Because that's the truth. So we do have so we do have um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Scorpio here a couple times, okay? But it it looks like it doesn't. You know, you could, this could be somebody new, or somebody that you're with, that you have a very deep, deep, deep connection with, okay? could be somebody with a lot of water in their chart, all right? And it could lead to happiness. So I just think that this is a really happy time for you, but I do see you're leaving something behind, but it's not something, I think that you're leaving something behind um, business-wise, you know, financially, some something like that. Um, we have the Father of Wands again. This, this Father of Wands, he's an entrepreneur, okay? And you have it twice. If you're thinking about starting a business I would, or st starting something new, I would say the answer is yes. I mean, there could, it's definitely very exciting, and I see you have a lot of passion for it. Okay? Follow your intuition. There's a lot of intu intuition here as well. Listen to your intuition. Um, there's really nothing holding you back. Nothing. There is something. You need to sever the ties with something. There is something holding you back. Let me change that up a little bit. You are pretending that there's no problem somewhere. You are pretending that there is no problem somewhere. And you have to sever it. You have to cut it and leave it behind. And once you do that, it brings in happiness. Because this, this is like the ultimate happiness card. Where you feel like you are very content, all right? You have just enough money. I mean, you might even have enough to share with others, all right? So, I mean, it looks really, really good. You do have to stop pretending, whatever it is. Maybe somebody is sabotaging you. You think somebody's sabotaging you at work, or they are sabotaging you, and you're just like, you know what? I'm going to go do this on my own. I don't need this shit anymore. I'm going to go do my own thing. I'm not telling you to go quit your job or anything, but maybe you have an idea and you've been scared to share it. Maybe that you have to let go of your fear. All right? I don't know. This is definitely something new, and this is something new. Okay? Something new with passion and something that you are going to love, and it leads to your wishes being fulfilled and a lot of happiness. I am going to do love readings. I think I already told you that. <laughs> Re 
Remember not to see yourself as a victim in any situation, okay? If, you know, don't see yourself as a victim. She sees herself as a victim every once in a while. This guy, he puts himself in, he's, he turns himself into the leader, all right? He takes act, action. He is a natural born leader. So this right here is something that would be blocking you feeling like a victim, feeling like you can't do it. Because like somebody's holding you back or something, anything is holding you. Could be, you could feel like money is holding you back or time is holding you back or some anything. Feeling like you are the victim. So that you cannot do. This guy is super confident, super, super confident. He believes in himself. He knows he will succeed. And you have it twice. So could, this could be just cutting out that th that victim mentality. Transition. Now we're going to get one of my whispers of love and then I'm going to zoom it in. Honesty is essential. I'm going to read transition first. A gothic stone portal marks the boundary between two distinct two distinct worlds standing off to one side an etheric crowned figure has lowered her bow and as she gazes into the distance her wings though gossamer in appearance are strong enough to carry her effortlessly into the sky beyond she senses no danger and is peaceful in the knowledge that everything in life has a natural cycle with many beginnings and endings clusters of roses and forget-me-nots symbols of enduring love Hope and remembrance surround the scene. The presence of this card indicates change and a transition between two chapters of life. Inevitable endings and new beginnings and the integration of a more expanded cycle involve letting go of the past to make way for new growth and transformation. Whether challenging or welcome, the open door of transition is inescapable. This card invites you to trust in the greater plan and move forward in the spirit of love and hope. Be honest about old ways of life that no longer serve your highest potential and concentrate on what you need to be balanced, vitalized, and connected to your spiritual center. Honesty is essential. That's the next one. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. Love seeks to do what is best for another person. Speak honestly. Tell the truth about your emotions. Use this as an opportunity to clear the air and turn this into a positive outcome. Hmm. So, this was a general reading. I will do the love readings. Um... It is what it is. It's my, you know, third time's a charm, so I'm going to let it go. Um, thanks for watching.